Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. I've been on holiday so I've been away for a bit so sorry for the absence of videos. Since coming back I've realised I haven't bought a new 3D printer in months. So I thought you know what, now that Holly my daughter's a little bit older, I'm going to invest in a resin printer because now she can be trusted not to actually climb up and spill resin everywhere. Kind of. I've also bought a new lock for my workshop so she ain't getting in here anyway. So yes, I went out and bought myself an Elegoo Mars 4 Ultra. The Ultra is apparently is important, but uh, we'll look at that later on. So yes, today I'm going to be looking at and reviewing a new resin 3D printer that I have purchased from Elegoo. I've never owned an Elegoo before. I have got an Anchor Make, I've got a Creality, I've got an SL Sun, I've got loads of other ones from loads of different companies, but yeah, never owned an Elegoo, so we're going to see how this one turns out. Before we do that, however, thanks everyone who's liked to subscribe. The numbers are slowly ticking up. If you haven't subscribed, drag us down, click subscribe, and welcome to the obsessive compulsive, possibly misguided purchase club, which is 3D printed soup. Keep buying 3D printers. If you don't, they might stop making them. So let's get on, unbox this thing and see what it looks like, what it prints like, what it smells like and what the prints turn out like. Let's give this a try. Okay, this is a fairly small box for 3D printer, which means it's either a very small 3D printer or it's a very well packed 3D printer. I'm hoping it's a kind of a combination of the two. Right, let's get this open and see what it looks like inside. Just use my 3D printed unboxing knife. Oh, love that noise. And if you want to print one of these yourself, I've got a link here on how to make it. It's a really, really good print and it's good fun to build. Just be careful with your fingers when using sharp knives. Right, okay, pop this open. And, ooh, lots of cardboard. I mean, I like cardboard because it's so much better for the environment than uh, nasty expanded polystyrene. I mean, there is expanded polystyrene in here, but uh, it's nice to see they haven't completely relied on unrecyclable junk. Take off the lid. Opening its weird cryogenic coffin. Ah, more recycled stuff and, ooh. Yay, what's this? Leveling card. Is that like an Uno switch card? And we've got the instruction manual. Oh, I like the rounded corners. Oh, look at this. It's got proper lovely illustrations and proper screenshots. None of this um, list of text. It actually shows you what to do. Well done, Elegu. This is, this is Apple levels of user friendly without the price, luckily. It's not a bad printer, actually. It costs not too much. Right, let's see what else we've got in here. We have got what looks like a power cable. And please, 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 please. Oh, it's a, yay, we've got a European one that clips on the end of it. Fantastic. The amount of times I've ordered stuff from uh, countries inside the EU and it turns out with the two pronged EU plug and no UK adapter, then I have to go out and buy a UK adapter, which are expensive and a pain on, I don't trust them. So I've actually got a proper, nice power adapter. Well done, Elegu, thank you very much. Okay, let's start with the toolkit. What have we got? We got like three filters, so yeah, no Allen keys. A scraper to add to my point in the scraper collection, like three gloves. Another scraper, but this one's a sharp one. Not bad, actually, that one. Power adapter. Active carbon filter. I have to see how that works later. Cheap ass USB stick. Going to be replacing that later as well. Two face masks. And a Wi Fi antenna for the Wi Fi on this particular module. And now for the moment I've all been waiting for. The printer itself. Ooh, lovely wrapped up in plastic and expanded polystyrene. Okay, let's untie the bottom. Cable tie. 
Haven't been many cable tires actually in this one, which I'm quite impressed by. Just the one so far. Okay, that's the cable tires and stuff off. Let's get the plastic off. One layer of polythene. Two layers of polythene. Oh, that's actually going all the way around the uh, the cover. Put that back out the way. And let's get this off. How does this come off? It's kind of vacuum molded to it. Oh, there we go. You see, this is a nice uh, dark black colour. Um, usually they're sort of orange. I never liked that. But yeah, I like, I like this sort of dark, dark charcoal black plastic. It looks a lot better than the orange ones. I think the orange look a bit gaudy. Uh, let's get this off there. And yep, let's remove the uh, print surface. Oh, look at that. Attention! Remove this sticky part first. Because it ain't going to stick to it if you don't. This is a nice chunky thing. With proper nice stainless steel. And not that stupid ball joint you get on the uh, cheaper version. And yeah, it's made out of aluminium. I believe that the regular, um, not the ultra one, is made out of plastic. And it also has the... Uh, ball joint on it instead of the uh, the four screws which come on the uh, print bed of this one yeah this is a very very premium feeling thing it's quite heavy so we've got around the back here plug straight in the back there not at the side which is good i like that got a vent at the side here i don't know if that's intake or outtake And that's where you plug in your carbon filter. And that is where you plug in your Wi-Fi. I say plug in, you screw it in. And yeah, this looks absolutely great. And on the front we've got a single USB and the power button as well. Okay, let's start this thing up. Nice full colour screen. Let's wait for it to boot. Probably going to need an update as well. And you've got your usual uh, prints, settings and uh, tools. Let's have a look and see what these do. So let's look at tools. Stick it on manual. Up it a few millimetres. And there we go. Yep. So that's all working well. Okay, let's remove the bed. Quickly undo the screws. There we go. Usual film on the bottom. And a quick bit of MSR for you. Oh, lovely. And now to uh, get this all set up and leveled. And with the print surface done, let's do a quick test of the UV lamp. There we go. Perfect. All working lovely. And now some more AMSR. Ah. And now, time for a print.
So yeah, so yeah, after a successful Benchy print and several very nicely uh, printed figures from a uh, subscription figure service, which shall remain nameless, but you've probably all received spam from in the past, I'm very, very happy. They've turned out crisp. There are no layer lines. The levels of detail are very, very good. And yeah, I am very, very happy with these. I'm looking forward to including these in my next uh, Pathfinder adventure. So yeah, these are very, very cool. And I'm just loving the fact that this printer prints so darn crisply. I mean, you can get it to print really fast as well, but quite frankly, I would take crisp and detailed over fast any day. If manufacturers think that we basically want speedy prints, they're not reading the room right because yeah, we have time. It's the detail that we like. It's fast, it's clean, it doesn't smell too bad because of the nice uh, active carbon filter, which I find works. Some people say it doesn't. I'm finding it smells a lot less than my other 3D printers ever did. I like the fact that when the Ultra, the body is metal, and I like the fact that it all links up to my Wi-Fi network so I can print directly from my computer onto my printer. But yeah, we're gonna talk about the features in another video. At the moment, first impressions, absolutely love it prints nicely, and as long as you get the settings on Kira right, you're going to get some lovely finished miniatures. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup, and this brief rundown of the Elegoo 4 Mars Ultra. I'm going to do a load more prints on this thing, a load more tests on this thing, and put some more videos up later, but yeah, this is just a first impressions, and yeah, I like it. Thanks for watching 3D Printed Soup, stay happy and safe, keep printing.